God, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the pre Congo Saga tournament featuring people like Rony. Ben Gold <laughs> and Pulsar Roni. See, I know who Ben Gold is, but uh, I'm not sure who Roni is, but he's Reverend Banjo. Uh, I mean, at least his match is on theme, you know? All right, let's be honest. No pun intended. You know, let's be honest. No one actually thinks that K. Rool, DK, Diddy, or Banjo is gonna win. Do you remember? Do you remember when nobody thought Link could ever win a major? He got second in his Civil War. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think they can do it, but they might cause an upset. I'm just saying. Do you see that there? Yeah. They get all of the armor. Yeah, that that belly armor is no joke. Unless you do a super strong move that does like 20, 20 plus percent. It does take damage too, which if it takes yeah. damage over time, it'll break and it'll cause like, the animation. So you have to be careful. Even though it's like pretty powerful as a super armor, it does have a weakness. Yeah, you gotta kind of like ration how you uh, use your belly armor, at least, at least with Nair, because after a while it'll just get broken by any Yeah. And then you'll just, it's basically like getting shield broken. Yeah. So this is like my uh, first time actually watching Ben Gold play K. Rool. Like when he was here uh, earlier this year, I only saw him going Bowser. So uh, I, I respect him going K. Rool. You were know? wow, dude. He was like, I'm the best, I'm the best K. Rool, and then we never saw him go K. Rool. I mean, I don't blame him, dude. This character is hard. The neutral is pretty much a uh, one, two, three. Nice though. He is even go for the cannonball. Double jump. Lands in with a back air. That was really good. So he's still a board tilt for a Tetris scenario here, and that also allows him to also have the crown at the same time. He's basically really well. Taro's pretty heavy, so. Despite how, like, how strong uh, Banjo is, I, I, don't, I don't see Kiro dying too, too early right now. I don't no, mean right. Maybe like a one ring at the edge right here. Oh, he's got two left. The good thing too is that Bengal kind of knows how to set up to fight Banjo's recovery options. So he'll set up the Boulder Bus to stop the normal recovery. So that means every time Bengal, um, Roni's going to make the recovery, it has to be low. Just spam me up to Of course, like, <laughs> Kiro's so big, too. He's gonna get hit by it. That's true, actually. It's kind of an unfortunate uh, aspect of playing a big body character. Alright, so Roni actually, uh, let's see what he can do. I think Banjo's actually really good with this Doki. Like, yeah. he actually, it, like, at first glance, it may not seem like it, but he's actually a really good key boy character. Like, he can actually hold on to stocks. Like, on top of him being really heavy, he's just, like, really a basic Oh, what a firm off of the crown, too. Yeah, I like the new up air. The sweet spot is, like, way bigger than the new patch. So that move is going to be killing a lot more consistently. Oh, the armor and the support air, too. Good down tilt, too. He's able to low profile a lot of things with that down tilt. Here comes the up air. Recovery. Oh, yeah. He's watched the Wonder Wings. Right, this... Uh, it's kind of rough for being gold, honestly. Yeah. Okay, Carol's not a character that can uh, really like snowball like once he gets momentum. Really, like he has to kind of chip away at Banjo or play the slow and steady game right now. Yeah, and Banjo has the speed to unless he can test it out of like Cable's range. All the characters have the speed yeah, to definitely move around Cable. Cable. So, ooh, yeah, yeah, he has that. Uh, that grenade too. That can up? like cover bench or Carol's recovery pretty well too. Yeah, if he gets at the wrong time, he'll cover like double recovery and then he'll also cover the middle recovery. Oh, big forward air. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that uh, down smash was. Yeah. If anything, we. I mean, I know Ben Gold has a Bowser too, like you said. Yeah. So like he yeah, might yeah. switch to Bowser after this match. I feel like Ben Gold though, like he's he knows that he was brought out, you know, as a K Roll player. So maybe he just really wants to, you know, live up to what everyone expects. You, you know, like know? One, one day, one day we'll fly out AC as a Falcon player. We will never fly out AC. He literally lives in SoCal. Hey man, he, that drive dude ain't that fun. I'm not no, gonna lie, we're man. Not, we're not, we're not paying his Uber. We're not doing that. 
I'm, I'm gonna be real hey, with man, you right AC, now. if you listen to this, man, you heard it first, man. They ain't flying you, man. <laughs> Stride says you have to drive those two hours, man. That's, that's all. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I, all right, he's staying, he's staying here. I think he just wants to try to adapt to it. I really want wonder if, because he has Sam Star in his pool uh, tomorrow. I, I wonder if he's actually gonna like go all here. I feel like today, like a lot of players, they're gonna treat the three local, um, kind of as a practicing proving ground to see how they're gonna go ahead and do the real practice scenario too as well. So it's really good for Ben Gold to honestly just take the table yeah. and see how he feels it out for tomorrow. That was Ooh, a really that good was such off. a good uh, tech chase. Dang, that was so good. That down smash is explosive if you can like three defensive options. So yeah. Something I also saw when uh, they were talking about like Carol's new like best landing lag on Nair is uh, he can like fall into people with Nair, right? And it, oh, nice, oh, nice, nice. nice. Yeah, but he can like fall into people with Nair, and if they try to like shield grab it, he can uh, down smash, and the, the animation of down smash will make their grab with. Because yeah. you know how it jumps in the air a little bit? Exactly. Yeah. Same thing with characters like Incineroar. Oh, he almost caught him off the wondering too. That would have been really good. Nice. Yeah, uh, Bingo's doing a lot better this game. I think it's just because he was uh, not forced to approach as much. Carol's approach outcomes are not the best. Probably the worst. Some of the worst in the game. Yeah, that you can't challenge the, the, the blunderbuss. Yeah, yeah that move is actually really, really underrated, I feel. Yeah, I mean, people don't give it enough credit. Like, you, you get hurt by it, and you fall into it, and then you get a really, like, whistle. Awesome. He can cover like a neutral plane, and then he can also recover the high plane as well too. So you have to really respect that times. Yeah, really. Oh, people forget really, that. It's really strong as a leg. I'm looking for uh, Bingo to really take advantage of that, like he's doing right now. Yep, <laughs> man. You said it yourself, man. It's strong at the ledge, dude. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. You didn't care about the one we had all the old oh, nice. No, he I'm lucky turned him with a down air, and unfortunately, like he got hit by four smash. Yeah, he wasn't respecting the hitbox from my bench. But, you know, I I have no idea who Roni is, but his, his banjo is really impressive. Gotta say, that's like one of the characters I'm really looking forward to see more of uh, this week. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Bancho is the character. I feel like a lot of DLC characters kind of like. Ooh, oh, you're crazy! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I like it, dude. He could have carried him off to the blast zone. Dude, I've never seen anyone actually do that in a real match. I've seen that like on like random YouTube compilations <laughs> of like Elite Smash and stuff. I mean, it didn't work, but it was close. But, uh. It, it had, it had Roni scared for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. This is a really scary situation right now. Ooh! That, oh, oh, no. He hit him with a, a very, very back end of down air. Oh, yeah. oh nice coverage. Yeah. Dang, that up there is insanely strong. Banjo's, like, heavy. And he just died to that, like, straight up. Yeah. He, I think, you know, he's like, he's heavy. He's like Mario 8, if I'm not mistaken, too. He's actually kind of like Mario 8. Really? Yeah. I thought Banjo was more on the heavier side. No, the only character that's like on the heavier side is probably Terry. Like he's a little bit like I think a little bit less than Ken. Yeah, I know Terry. Yeah. Huh. I I'll look up. I should probably look that up for tomorrow. I think what I'm really excited to see is if we do see any Banjos in top eight. I mean, like it sounds no like way. They, there's no way, but like you know, man, let me hold on to that like casual. No. Cause dude, real talk. Look, let's be real. All the DLC characters have not gotten into top eight spots at majors at all. Joker, like, the only, hello. The, except I was gonna. Hey, let me finish. Dude. Come on. <laughs> I was gonna say Joker's the only character, and that's because like MK Leo represents him really, really well. Right? And he's godlike. Yeah. The characters. I, can you let me finish? The story? All right. Sorry. All right. Whatever. Hold on. Hold on. Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I feel like some of these DLC characters don't get enough representation. Is what I'm yeah. saying, right? Like MKBO is nothing to look, like not talk about his skill, uh, but not only him being able to use Joker. But like it's one of those things, right? Like who will finally represent this character in such a strength that could see a potential copy out of such a major as Congress, right? Bruh, they shouldn't. Even, they should try to focus on getting out of pulls first. Like <laughs> forget top eight. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Who, this, who's like, this, going to get out of pulls at least? Yeah, this uh, tournament tomorrow is insanely stacked. Like to, just to get top one twenty eight win. Oh, insane! Oh, I love, I love that back air. That, that, that back air is so cool. <laughs> it's like one of the most satisfying spikes to land. To. But uh, yeah, whoever gets like one hundred top one twenty eight winners, it has to be like a really good player. Yeah, we have such a stack. Oh my god, he's going for it. Such again. a stack of uh, brackets tomorrow. Like there's literally nine hundred plus entrants. Literally, what, a thousand people in the venue. Yeah. It's going to be definitely like who will make it to day two. Honestly. That's the true test. Who makes it to the next day? Right? Real we'll talk. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Especially, I uh, really want to see Ben Gold's pool since he has a sensor. I'm actually looking forward to, uh, you talked about it yesterday on my stream, Void versus Gag, the rematch. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if Void's not going to play Peach. That's what I'm saying. 
I'm saying, yeah, dude. It'll be interesting. For sure. But anyway, this match he got down throw up tilted again. Honestly, yeah, he's grabbing with that percent where unless you have like the Nairo God level mash, you're probably gonna get hit by something. But I don't know, uh, Dingles adapting a lot in this match. Ooh, nice one when you follow up. So much he's adapting a lot in the match here for Peroni. He knows he has to keep up the pressure here in neutral area. It's actually able to move above the belly yeah. to actually hit Kiro himself. Yeah, that's pretty good for Roni there. He's catching these jumps. Oh yeah, I really like how he's using the, the grenade here. Covering a lot of space, but can get back to ledge. Ooh. Nice. Nice mix up there. Uh, really good change of two. Nice off the off the grenade too with a quick forward air. Down throw? The, yeah, he's consistently going for the down throw. I think he just doesn't respect uh, Bingo's ability to mash out of that, honestly. Yeah. And also, too, like we saw earlier, he went for a lot of up tilts and he went for forward smash there just because K-Roll had a weak body. Ooh. Oh no, and he left the forward smash into the down throw. Oh, sorry, to um, the down throw. They're both going for the berry follow ups and just not getting. Oh, this is kind of scary. Can you imagine if DK had a berry follow up? That would have been cool, but he doesn't really do it. He has a lot of really good throws. Oh, oh tough trade. trade with the up, so man, that's unfortunate for Bingo. But luckily, uh, he doesn't take much to get this stock. Of course, if if I'm Roni, I'm not gonna approach at all. Though he gets grabbed, he should be dead. Yeah. Oh no, Epto. Oh, yeah, man, just don't hit that. All right, there we go. Okay, even up. 0% last stock for the players. Game 3, pretty much exactly what you want to see between uh, these two players. Yeah, and that was really good for Bingo to actually go for a double jump and then land with in the air because he wanted to armor through Rooney's uh, its ability when he came back on the platform. So that was really good just to try to find a way to time that out. All right, good pressure. Dash attack. Oh, that grenade is really disrupting a lot of the uh, bits of pressure that Bingo is trying to put on. And that's just a really good strength of uh, Banjo in general. If you try to get in on him, but then you got to navigate around all these projectiles. And it just starts frustrating people. Yeah, it's not a fun time. Oh, nice. He's keeping him in the air. Oh, this is rough. At the ledge. Carol doesn't have the best tools to get off the ledge either. So, like, if Roni just keeps him there, he's going to rack up tons of percent. Eventually, he's going to the game. Oh, all right. Ben Gold's in a really rough spot. Getting hit by every projectile right now. And get off the ledge. Nice pressure there. Putting the grenade right in roll distance. Oh, this is a free grab. Yeah, way too much lag. He doesn't go for the down throw this time. Interesting. All right. Percent's, yeah, percent's really high, so you wouldn't be able to mash out, but I feel like he knows that he probably up would have been He can still read that for an up air, too, because if I'm down, but he can still find his options. Okay, he doesn't want to get grabbed right now. He knows it's probably death if he gets grabbed at this point. Let's see if Bingo can actually make this comeback happen, but there's the drag down there. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm yeah. Roni will take it. Nice, really good set there from uh, Roni. I haven't seen him before. And uh, I don't know, I would imagine that Bingold's de at least seated in the tournament, so. Yeah, he has to be, uh, coming all the way from Australia. Yeah. Like I said, he's probably trying to stick it out through the K-Roll, see how it's going to do for tomorrow in bracket. Um, question for the chat today is, 